everyone and welcome to another shop my stash video um, I was supposed to come back a while back to talk to you about some of the products that I had last month in my shop my stash I wasn't able to and also would it have taken way too long so I made them in separate videos if you're interested about the um, foundations I'm gonna leave the link up here so you can go and watch that one and all the other ones I already had them uh, and nothing changed my opinion didn't change about them but these eyeshadow palettes are new were new in my collection and I have tried them and I have thoughts so we're gonna discuss about these first and then we're gonna go ahead and uh, shop my stash we're gonna go back to weekly shop my stash because it is much better I was hating it to have so much clutter in my drawer it was just way too much so we're just gonna go ahead and pick makeup for another week so let's talk about this eyeshadow palettes first we're gonna start with this uh, Natasha Denona Trichrome eyeshadow palette. I I have mixed feelings about this one. I love the mattes. The mattes are absolutely beautiful. I just don't love those dual chromes. I don't feel like they do anything on my eyes. They don't have any dual chrome looking on my eyes whatsoever. Like even here, like look at that. Where is where is the dual chrome effect? Like, why is this such an expensive eyeshadow palette? Like, where is the dual chrome effect? There's there's nowhere to be found. So I was having like a really, really a high expectation about this one. And it's just it's not it. It doesn't give me anything. You know, and with this color scheme, I feel like it's missing something a little bit more bright. I don't understand why the duochromes are like a little on the darker side. I just, I don't know. I don't know. I honestly, I would have, if I would have paid the $129 on this one, I would be screaming right now because it's definitely not worth $129. Um, and, uh, it's promising something that is not delivering so that's another thing that I just uh, I don't I don't like it I don't like it at all so this one I love the mattes I just don't love the duochromes and I am so glad I got in the uh, butylish lucky bag because otherwise I would not be happy right now all right next we have the imperial topaz from Wayne Goss, absolutely beautiful formula, very, very nice on the eyes. The only problem that I have is it's kind of boring. I mean, the colors are okay for a uh, neutral lover, but not necessarily for me. I'm not really that much into neutrals, and I always feel like my makeup always ends up to looking the same, although I try new techniques, new ways to apply it. It kind of ends up looking the same, which is like a blah, you know, nothing really that exciting other than the formula. The formula is very nice, very easy to blend, um, and they're not patchy at all. The The shimmers are beautiful. They don't, uh, they don't make your wrinkles, like some, some uh, eyeshadows, they do set into your wrinkles. These ones do not, and they look beautiful. So I like this one. Formula-wise, I don't like the color story. The Luxury Eye Filter from Charlotte Tilbury, the Luxury Palette, it is beautiful. I love this thing. It is so, so cute. Every time I apply it, it just kind of gives me joy because everything is so shiny, sparkly, and beautiful, and I can play with it in ways to make it look different like i played with this one put it all over my lid and then i just darkened it up with this it looked amazing the same thing i did with this one and then i combined this one with this one and then i combined these two and then i combined these two there's multiple combination that you can do with this one to make it look different and also kind of gives it a little bit of like joy it's not i know it's still pretty neutral but it's not like a boring neutral it's kind of like a little bit exciting so i like the formula i love charlotte tilbury formula maybe i am one of the few where which loves charlotte tilbury formula way more than uh natasha's denona 
so uh yeah i love this eyeshadow palette this one definitely worth it now the viseart one i was playing with it multiple times and it kind of was like i don't know something is not giving me that you know excitement about it but then i created a look that absolutely enjoyed it and i noticed that with this one you definitely have to be very careful how you place your eyeshadow and where you place it in order to make it look good i feel like sometimes the shimmer can emphasize your wrinkly eyes so i would be careful with the placement on this one but nevertheless it's still a beautiful formula and a beautiful um color story so I'm going to set all of these back and now let's start shopping. All right, my foundation drawer, it is overflowing. It's not as bad as my uh, bronzer and blush drawer. I'll show you that one when we get there. But I have to think about what is actually going to go bad soon because I... I usually like to finish my foundations if I do start them I like to finish them or at least get like halfway there um, I'm really annoyed if they expire before I even get to use half of them so that's what I'm gonna try to do this month um, and I think I'm gonna go with this this is definitely um, right there so I need to use this one more so I'm gonna use this one and then I do need something to combine it with because this is definitely very, very heavy and I need something shimmery. So I think I'm going to go with this one. And I do have one of their, um, this one, I think I have it. I have it in a mini size. And it's this uh, Hollywood Flawless Filter. So I'm going to put all these three. Okay, I'm excited to start my uh, to change my powders as well because I've been using this one crazy, just like crazy uh, under the eyes. So I want to take a new one and try something else. And I might just honestly do this one from Burst Bees. Um, and then for my face trying to see what i haven't used in a while oh yeah let's do this one i think this one is almost i'm almost done with so i think i'm gonna do yeah i'm gonna do these two let's do these two all right are you ready to see the bronzer and blush drawer mm -hmm. it is full to the brim to the very very brim and uh this one is going to take me a little bit to like kind of go into it and know what i want to do because i honestly have no idea i have no idea what i want to do i just don't know this one i was thinking to let it go but you know at some point it was like i want to keep it so just might keep it a little longer i'm gonna leave it in there though or should i use that one actually you know what i'm yeah i'm gonna use this one we'll see how it's gonna go if i feel like i don't like it at the end of this week i can let it go so i'm gonna use this one for blush and then for bronzer i don't know i really don't know was just digging and digging and digging and then I found this one from Seoul and I'm I'm just contemplating if I want to use that one and then I want to use this one on top let's just do that we'll use these two next we have concealer and we have and primer so for primers I am thinking I'm going to go with Unseen Sunscreen or should I go with something that is a little bit more hydrating because that foundation needs very hydrating, very hydrating products. 
So, uh, maybe I'm just going to finish this one finally. So, I'm going to put this one and I'm going to try to finish it. If I do not, then I'm probably going to discard it at the end of this week. So, I'm going to put the NYX Hydro Touch because I had this one in my collection for for a long time. So, I need to use this one. So, I'm going to take this one out. And as for concealers... I do have more concealers now than what I used to, but um, what do I want with that one? Mm, I do love the LYS one. It's really, really good. I might just go with Born This Way. Yeah, I'll do this one. And from this drawer, I'm going to take this uh, Juvia's Place one out. This is the eye primer. Highlighters. Uh, this is pretty cool. I'm going to use this one as a highlighter. This is from Melt. Um, also, I got this one from Kaleidos. This is a new one. I have not used it yet. Uh, but I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to take the Woma one and use that one this week. This is not in hell, so we're gonna use this one. And here I have some eyeshadow palettes that I wanna play with more. I haven't played enough with this one, um, so I definitely want to put this one in. But I also need to use one of the old ones, so I think what I'm gonna do, I might just put the Lorelei Los Angeles. Wouldn't that be funny? You put the Manny MUA and Lorelei Los Angeles. Yeah, I'm going to put that one in. I'm going to take that one out and put it up here. Now for lips. This is the little area where I have my lipsticks. Um, should we go with new or should we go with old? Should we go with in between? I think I'm going to choose three different lipsticks. First of all, I definitely want to go with this one. This is Makeup by Mario. This is a new one, and I want to play more with it. I really love the formula. Very, very comfortable. And I have this one in pinky brown. Now, I do want a something hydrating for the lips. So, I think I'm going to go with another Makeup by Mario product. This is in Bare Glow, and this is the... Um, is it like a lip balm treatment um and then we have a neutral we need something with color i think i'm gonna go with this one from uh, dior this is in 080 and then i'm gonna go with with an older one let's do that let's do an older one let's do this one from, um, this is Omi from Pat McGrath. Okay, so here's a couple more things that I decided to add in. I did purchase this um, liner from Give. This is for brows and this one is called Most Defined, I believe. Instant Definition Sculpting Brow Pencil. And this one is in the color 6. Um, it's supposed to be very precise and give you like hair strokes and it's pretty unique the way the packaging and the way it looks and I did try it a couple of times and I'm not sure yet. I mean, I like how it looks, but I feel like it's melting way too fast. Um, this is a little swatch over there how it looks like and then you have a lot of the swatches over here of the products that we have in so first swatch from this side is going to be this makeup by mario uh lip balm and then next to it we have another makeup by mario product that i was showing you the pinky brown one this is from dior 080 so that's the next one the other one is from pat mcgrath omi the lip liner i decided to go with a melt cosmetic and this one, I believe, is in Ambrosia. I don't know what it doesn't say. Yeah, Ambrosia. And then another one, I decided to go with this Makeup by Mario. This one, just so you know, it does come with a sharpener, which I absolutely 
love but this is how it looks like uh, right there next to it I have swatched the blink um, eyeliner then it's NYX then it is um, Marc Jacobs and Elf and Stila so these are the swatches and this is where they are this is the Marc Jacobs and I believe this one is in olive um, the one from NYX is this one which uh, it is just a white pencil and then this is the one from blink right here I also decided to put this one in I never ever leave this one out of my uh, weekly stash because even if I don't show it it's because of this definer this one helps me clean up under the brows and make them look really clean and sharp so that's why I use that every single week and then let's repeat and go back in here I have the sugar cosmetics for blush this is how this one looks like it's beautiful but I feel like the formula kind of got a little bit patchy with the the past of time so I really want to try it again and see if I like it or not and then we also have the uh, bronzer from Seoul uh, which is Colourpop in dark and this is exactly how it looks like and then I also have the Marc Jacobs one not even sure if you can find these I think you can still find them online let me open them so you can see Okay, so the bronzer is in Tantastic, and that's pretty much how it looks like. And then I have this one from, this is actually a powder from uh, Winky Locks, and this is in Medium Deep. And then we have this uh, powder as well from Burst Bee. And then, uh, of course, the ones that I, we decided glowish uh, for the under the this foundation. Born This Way, and I have mine in Natural Beige. And then Airbrush one, I have it in 7.5 Neutral. And then this one, I have it in 4.5 Medium. The Hollywood Flawless Filter. And then, of course, I have the NYX one. Do you think it might be just not, not sitting, not closed properly? So I'm going to put it on top and keep it on top for sure. Because I don't want to, like, have oily mess all over and then let me show you how these two eyeshadow palettes look like as well okay so this is the Laura Lee Los Angeles the nudie patootie palette and this is the Manny MUA uh, eternal eclipse palette so I think they're gonna be really complementing each other this one I like it because it's a little bit more deeper the one from Manny this one is very light so I think we're gonna be able to like mix and match them um, and also adding those two sparkles that I was showing you earlier from Elf and Stila um, to make them look better. So yeah, pretty much this is all I'm going to have in Shop My Stash this week. Uh, let me know what do you have and what are you going to put in your Shop Your Stash as well. But thank you so much for watching and I cannot wait to see you all next time. Have a nice one.